If you are visiting our channel for the first time, please subscribe first to get the latest updates. Hello everyone. Today we will learn how you can convert an improper rational fraction into the proper rational fraction. In our previous lecture, we have seen that how you can differentiate the proper and the improper rational fractions from each other. So we will start from the example and apply the the method on the example so that you can easily understand the concept understand how you can convert the improper rational fraction into proper rational fraction so let's have an improper rational fraction in uh, to which you have to convert for example you have x cube minus x square plus x plus 1 divided by x square plus 5 now this is uh, an improper rational fraction why because the power or the degree of the uh, uh, of the numerator is greater as compared to the degree of the numerator uh, as compared to the degree of the denominator so you can say that this is an improper uh, improper rational fraction because degree of numerator that is n of x is greater than the degree of denominator so we have to convert this improper rational fraction into a proper rational fraction that is a, a, a rational fraction having the degree in the denominator greater as compared to the numerator. So let's convert it by using a long division method. So you have to divide numerator with the denominator using long division method. So we will use this method in order to convert the improper fraction into proper rational fraction. So let's do the division as by keeping the numerator like this x cube minus x square plus x plus 1 and x square plus 5 is the divisor. So start dividing it like you have to multiply it with x so that it will become x cube plus 5x. So I'll write it here plus minus it will be cancelled out and we will have minus x square minus 4x plus 1. Now we have to divide it further as still the power of this x and this x is same. As in improper fraction, the power of the numerator is, and the denominator is either greater than the power of numerator is either greater than or equal to the power of the denominator. So we have to make it divide it further in order to reduce the power further. So we will do it again by multiplying the expression with minus 1 so that we will get minus x square and minus 5. Then it will be like this. And we will be cancel out. We will get minus 4x plus 6. Now we have to stop the division here because the power of x or in here, uh, the power of x here is 1 and the power of x here is 2. So now it is in the proper fraction. But how you can write it? Let's see how you can write it. You can write it by the met by a, a, in a form that is quotient plus remainder divided by divisor so this is the form in which you have to write after the long division so the quotient is q of x plus remainder is r of x and divisor is d of x so here the quotient is this is the quotient so i'll write x minus 1 plus what is the remainder remainder is this minus 4x plus 6 so I'll write minus 4x plus 6 divided by what is the divisor? That is x square plus what is the divisor? That is x square plus 5. So this is now in the proper rational fraction form. So this is the result of dividing the two um, uh, of dividing the numerator with the denominator and the rational fraction that is currently in the improper form and convert and we have converted it into the proper rational fraction by using the long division method as now the power of x in the denominator is greater than the power of x in the numerator. Let's have one more example in which we will convert again the improper fraction into the proper one by using the long division method. Example number two is we have the rational, uh, uh, rational expression as x square plus 1 divided by x square minus 1. Now we can say that this expression is um, uh, this expression is improper fraction uh, is improper uh, rational fraction because the power of x is same in the numerator as well as the denominator. So let's convert it into the proper fraction as by using the long division method 
as it, it is important while you while uh, solving for the partial fractions that we have to convert the improper fractions into proper fractions so that we can have the partial fractions of the given uh, of the given expression so using long division method you can write as x square plus 1 in x square minus 1 x square minus 1 ones are x square minus 1 it will be like this and this you will get 2 so now it is in the proper form so how we can write the proper form form we can write the proper form as quotient plus remainder divided by divisor put the values here we, what we will get quotient here is this is the quotient so i'll write 1 plus what is the remainder this is the remainder 2 divided by what is the divisor this is the divisor divided by x square minus 1 so this is the proper form of an improper rational um, uh, of an improper rational fraction this one so this is how you can convert an improper rational fraction into a proper rational fraction thank you thank you for watching if you like this video please don't forget to subscribe our channel math.com for more updates thank you